the physical realm is a fake realm. Let me explain myself. Now you do some codings and you come out with a video game. Hallelujah. Now in that video game, there are real codes that interact. Every time you press this button, this reaction happens. That is a game world. Those are real things in a different reality. They are real in a fake dimension. But where they really exist is in the mind of their creator. Do you get me at all? So, by faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. So, the things which are seen are from things that do not appear. Which tells us that the fake realm is the physical realm. That's why if all you do is to gather things in this realm and nothing in eternity, then you are among men most miserable. This speaker was once an idea before the resources it takes to bring it out into physical dimension was a Established. The only reason why this world is physical to you is because of your license for operation called your body. So they, they, my God, when God made Adam and Eve, Bible said there was no man to till the ground. There was an earth, but no man. Where were they? They were in the spiritual realm, their real dimension. So in order for them to operate here without the issue of legal boundaries, without breaking the protocol of territory, God has to give them a physical cloth. God had to bend down and form man from the dust. When he says that man was formed from the dust, it doesn't mean that God used mud to make man. He was saying the intelligence of man's body was sourced from the earth. That's the reason why there are things about you, there are tendencies that you can relate to the physical world. For example, grass does not need a man to plant it for it to grow. Your hair needs no planter for your hair to grow. The stone doesn't expire. The bone doesn't expire. There are things about you that were derived from there. Water fills 72% of the the earth water fills the same amount of percent of the human body more than 70 percent of your body is water is that correct more than 70 percent of the earth is water so if you look at it critically you resemble the earth why did god do that he took your superhuman suit from the earth so as to give you license to operate here so the only reason why the earth should obey you is because you were made as the brain of the earth so god had to take you out of here so that when you say go it go if you say let the mountain move the mountain can move because you came from there so a side of you is eternal a side of you is carnal a side of you is physical so where's the real you the real you is in the dimension before you came here you only came here for legality of function everything that men get to catch they saw it from a spiritual dimension it took spirit to introduce to men civilization so whatever men know today it was by human and spirit participation it means a human met the spirit and the spirit released information which made the human have an advantage over this realm are we together at all so books started before books were written by men books exist in the real dimension called the realm there's a mystery in god called tight no man had seen it even adam did not pay tight yet abraham by intimacy with god was able to enter chambers in eternity where he got the revelation that something exists called giving god 10 percent how did cain and abel know that when you collect your first fruit you should give it to god there was no pastor no teacher but they had entered into eternal corridors and they were able to get certain divine truths that were beyond what was in the bible because this book existed there before it exists here you see every time you want biblical reference to believe a truth you are right you are doing good but you are also confining yourself to a particular box because all of god cannot be here there is more to god than any book can contain opposed to john was the revelator john speaking he said if all the miracles jesus did were to be put in books he said the books will fill the earth and there will still be more books to be written he was simply saying that if the miracles jesus did cannot be exhausted by books what about the dimensions of god god's totality can't be exhausted by a book don't forget we have tenor constitutions they existed in god before they were written by men they are written because man had lost authority and koinonia intimacy with the lord so we need a book to know our father i've never seen a family where people have to write a book for a child to know her father if you live in your father's house you will not 
truly know your father so that we need a book to know God it's a sign we are so far that it takes a physical thing to draw us back to God nobody needs a book to know her mother because there are spiritual constitutions and they exist in the eternal realms so men were able to ascend into ladders of intimacy and capture some realms before there was ever a pastor before any pastor appeared there were dimensions in God the scripture is new to us not new to God this is God's constitution it existed before man was even created before the foundations of the earth these things existed 